Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm showing you this 2010 Nissan Cube that just came in. It's got almost 53,000 kilometers on it, which is about 33,000 miles. That is it. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits to doing it that way. So with that, we're going to have a look around. We'll show you the feature, or I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Cube is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about $55 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, so we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now, you do have uh, two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or you take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right, so with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. Again, it's just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean. So uh, key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It, uh, is it a push start? So you push that one time, and it goes. Right. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. 52,878 on the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights. The one on the right, obviously your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure where your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that circle one to the left is your emergency brake. This one's a uh, kick type. So when you kick it, disengage it, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Well, that very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. That thing pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. All right, well, up to the left here, you do have your uh, radio. This one does have a rear camera. You have your shifter, air conditioning controls, uh, power outlet right here, and then a uh, grocery bag hook. And this netting, I think it's for maybe a larger drink. I have no idea. If you do, uh, comment if you're on YouTube. All right, then this two tier uh, glove box. Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your pasture space over there. I don't see your road flare over there, but uh, this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back and all the way down right now. I have 511, as everybody loves knowing. I could drive as is or slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. It does have the center con console slash armrest that's going to give you a little extra space. And this, it, it does uh, go out of the way. Does not make this a six uh, passenger, but just uh, two passengers up top. And this is not a cup holder, so I'm not sure what it is. And nobody's commented and tell me what it, what it might be. Okay, let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Let's just see a, a little bit of the hood, not by much. Go all the way back. Now, normally this time I showed an auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. But because it just came in, I keep those in the office until mid detailed. Once detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor so you see that for yourself. Uh, and there's some dealers that actually try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. All right, so I'll show you a couple other items. It does have an aftermarket um, uh, dash cam up here. And then, let's open up this. So you do have a, a cup holder over here as well. Under the, uh, this, whatever this uh, thing is, you do have a um, little bit of storage. A little bit of storage and two cup holders here. Okay, on the right side of the dash, you do have uh, your mirror controls. Uh, this one right here is gonna control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. And then over here you have two uh, two levers, the one on the right is your gas cover release, one on the left is your hood release. And then coming off to the left here, you do have uh, this guy hiding, that's your electronic toll collector, your ETC reader. This works like easy pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. All right. To turn it off, your foot doesn't have to be on the brake, you just push this one time and it turns off, even though the AC was feeling really nice. And then on the door panel you have your uh, door lock and window controls right there. Right. Yeah, really clean car. Somebody took care of this. 
All right, uh, seat all the way back, all the way down. I am about two inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage in the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And a cup holder on each door panel. You do have a center armrest that's going to come down and give you two cup holders as well. Now, there is a bar down here that you can lift up, and if you need to slide this forward, you can. I'm not going to be able to put it uh, all the way forward, but if you have no passengers and you need extra space in the back, that's where you're going to do it. You can slide it up for extra space. And here you have your, uh, your storage. Hold on a second. All right, that's not going. All right, I'm going to mess with that later. But here's your storage. Again, you can slide that forward. The last previous model had a handle there that would you uh, slide it forward. I don't know why they took that out. It was a pretty good uh, to have it back there. So let's go up front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. Okay, here you have it. There's a 1.5 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you go. 2010 Nissan Cube. 53, almost 53,000 kilometers on it, which is only 33,000 miles. Um, military price goes down at 4,800. Additional military discount, we'll get it down at 4,600. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4,600 is going to include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether they're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny Z's Cars to show what we have, what our pricing is all, or what our um, program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Uh, one of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes Best in Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.